Aveline, my daughter, wandering alone at dawn. Where have you been? After the nightmare, I went to take air. Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then do your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would... In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. <laughs> what now? While walking, I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman. A slave. Badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon outside in the street. Evelyn! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish, or worse. Or worse! You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. <sighs> I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch your new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose. Aveline, late to lunch and looking ashen again. I fear you are not resting enough. Oh, Papa. I'll take my rest when this life is exhausted. You will hasten that end at this rate. I do fear you are more like your father than his feet for a lady. A chip of the same block. In passing, Monsieur Blanc requests your assistance at the warehouse. I dare say he has work to offer. Is that all he has to offer? I should think for all his attention, he would request your hand. All the same, it's the work that interests me. Philip. Oh, dear me. Oh, by the turn of this conversation, it would appear I have lingered too long at this table. If you'll excuse me. Good day, Papa. <sighs> there, he is gone. I can tell you now, Aveline. I have taken care of everything. Your friend will be safe. If you have any more... Womanly problems, do not hesitate to see me. <laughs> <laughs> 